that will be comfortable to sit on. Given the design and the feel of the frame, I think this weave is the best match. They choose a weave three millimeters thick that still offers adequate cushioning. Shimizu also requests tatami in some unusual colors. Black is an absolute must. We've got to have that. Black has a very modern, cool feel. And in contrast to all these warm colors, I'd like another one with blues and purples. I'm not sure that's possible, but if it is, that would be great. Got it. I'll talk to the artisans. We'll give it a go. Shimizu produces color samples. In contrast to the traditional earth tones of Igusa mats, I want to do something more vivid. I want to boost the visual appeal. Shimizu picks a few gradient patterns that give a whole new look to tatami and sends sample images to Ishibashi. Ishibashi takes them to a rush dyeing expert. Shimpachi Hiraki has been an Ikusa dyer for 50 years. It is believed the technique for dyeing Ikusa was developed in the mid 19th century. The ability to dye in bright, vivid colors followed a few decades later. And the mechanization of the dyeing process began in the mid 20th century. Shimizu requested black and purple, rare colors for a tatami product, but that doesn't bother Hiraki. I'm confident that we can dye it any color. Oh, that's great. <laughs> First, Hiraki makes a matte black. He knows the right amount of dye stuff to a tenth of a gram. Nice colors, eh? Yes, very close to what was specified. I bet it'll look good when it's woven. Next, the dyed igsa is delivered to a weaver. Masayoshi Noguchi has been weaving for 37 years. Until about 50 years ago, igsa was woven by hand. These days, the igusa is set in trays on each side of the machine. As the machine works, it pushes in igusa from both sides one by one with a needle. Igusa is slimmer towards the leafy end. To create an even sheet of woven rush, the stalks must alternate between root end and leaf end. Ishibashi shows Noguchi Shimizu's color samples. Let's try 10 or so patterns. They add in the different colors in different proportions. This type of weave is called a twill. A twill weave is tight and elastic. Ideal for upholstery. You can never tell until it comes out. Yeah. The mix of Ixa is changed every 30 centimeters to create various patterns. Suddenly, the machine comes to a halt. One 
of the Igsa is slightly damaged. Noguchi has set the machine to detect even minor flaws, and they do occur because Igsa is natural. Noguchi does everything in his power to ensure even quality and high quality. The sample sheet is complete. It looks good to me. Let's send it to the designer so that he can take a look. Shimizu eagerly opens the package containing the tatami sample. Mmm, smells good. Shimizu had a certain image in mind when he chose these colors. If it's in the sun, the color will fade. And different colors fade at different rates over time. So, rather than having the whole thing be one color, I thought that mixing different colors would make it age in a more attractive way. Shimizu chose this pattern for its blue-purple contrast and believes fading will change it beautifully. Meanwhile, the chair's frame, made by another company, has been delivered to Ishibashi. He starts thinking about how to attach the Igusa sheet to it. 